Welcome back to Grief Inspired. My name is Catherine McNulty and here at Grief Inspired, I'm encouraging you to live your life stronger than grief. And today I have an amazing guest for you. Her name is Mia Mitchell and Mia Mitchell and I met online. We're in some of the same business courses and she has created something that I want to share with all of you because it's a real opportunity to take the situation that you are all in and do something positive with it um, and, and change the way our relationships are moving forward with the people in our lives. So I'm super excited. We're gonna drop right into the video. Here's my conversation with my friend, Mia. And today I have an amazing guest. Her name is Mia Mitchell. And so what she is doing in the world is just amazing. And I just thought it was so relevant to all of you. And I want to share the gift of what she's creating with all of you. As we grieve, there's a lot of change that happens. And we start reevaluating our lives. We reevaluate our relationships. We reevaluate what's important to us. We reevaluate, you know, how we want to interact with the rest of the world. So there's a lot of change. And so we oftentimes need things to do. We want to create new um, in our lives. And so this is a product um, that you're going to be able to use to help you with that. So Mia, welcome to the conversation today and welcome to Grief Inspired. Thank you so much for having me. I'm gonna cry already. Like, you know, Catherine knows I'm a crier. So I'm not guaranteed <laughs> I'm gonna get through this with my makeup in. I'm not wearing makeup. I'm, I never put makeup on for that reason, but thank you so much for having me. It's an honor to be here. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Well, yeah, and so I was really taken away by um, you know, you've created this amazing product. And like you said, it's, it's really come from your heart and it's come out of love. So tell me a little bit about the product and what, well, we'll start with where you saw the need, um, sort of, and how it evolved and how it actually became a product for you. Yeah. Um, well, first I'll say that I never set out to create a product. That was never my intention. Um, I never imagined that I would be in a position to say, here is this thing that I've put out into the world and maybe it could help somebody. But um, it started for me with my own children. I am the mom of two very rambunctious boys aged 11 and eight. My 11 year old specifically is one of my greatest joys and greatest challenges. And I always tell people that if I can get him to adulthood, then I can do anything. Like he, I can do anything. Um, and during COVID, especially when everybody was locked down and we were all spending way more time with each other than we were used to, because my kids were home, of course, um, my oldest son, Will, and I really had some challenges in the way we were communicating with one another, in the way we were navigating our day. And um, it, it, was, it was a very difficult time for me as a parent, and I think a very difficult time for him also because neither one of us could really find a way to tell each other how we felt, what we needed, um, how much we loved one another without things just becoming complicated. It was, it was difficult. He's very high energy. He's very opinionated. He is very much like my husband, only an 11 year old version of my husband with all of the emotions and hormones that go with that. So I started during that time um, being aware of the fact that when he and I would come to blows, he would remove himself, he would not want to talk to me, but he would always come back with a handwritten note of apology, of um, just expressing his feelings. Sometimes it was angry, sometimes it was hopeful, sometimes it was just, I love you, mom, and I'm so sorry. This is where I, this is where I get emotional. Um, but I realized that writing things down for him was a way for him to process those feelings and to connect with me in a way he couldn't verbally. He just didn't know how to do it. So I started, when they went back to school, being intentional with, the, with writing notes to them in their lunchbox, just little sticky notes. I have piles, I should show you the piles of sticky notes I have, all disorganized, both my kids. Dear Will, you're amazing. You've got this, have an awesome day. Dear Drew, be the light for somebody today. Smile bigger, be kind, be a good friend. Just little notes of encouragement 
that my kids could carry with them so that they, they would know that I was always with them. Even if we had a really crappy morning and it, you know, I wasn't doing well as a parent, they would have that with them throughout the day. And that kind of evolved one day when, um, I can't remember if it was Will or Drew, scribbled something on the back of one of those notes and it was a reply to the note that I had put out there. And I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. So the next day I put a pen in there and I told them, hey, there's a pen in there. Check for your note, check for your note. And over the last year or so, that has developed into little conversations that go back and forth between us on these piles of sticky notes. And I came to understand that this was something as a parent that I valued so, so much. Um, it allowed me to connect with my kids when I wasn't there, to encourage them, to uplift them, to remind them that I loved them. And when they, when they would respond to me with little notes of, oh my goodness, mom, you always say the best things. Or, oh my goodness, mom, that made my day. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, as I told you, sometimes it's just great. That's awesome, mom. Can you buy gum? I'm out of gum. You know, I mean, it doesn't always have to be this big emotional thing, but it was a connection that I had been lacking. Mm -hmm. And so always right here, which is my product grew out of just really feeling that that connection that had been missing was being bridged at a time when I really needed it. Oh. That's just so wonderful. So, so show us the product. Can you show it to us? Yes, this is just a sample because it is still in pre-production. So it's on pre-sale right now. So it's not the full product, but this is, this is always right here. Um, and it is a little box of note cards, a little box of love notes waiting to be written to your children, to your spouse, to your parents, to whoever it may be, right? Um, the loved ones in your life. It's so, so simple. Um, it's intended to really be a reminder to be intentional every day about the words we choose with the people that we love. Because mm. um, if you're anything like me, if you're a mom of two crazy young children, there are days when things just get away from you, right? And you don't always think about the words that are coming out of your mouth. The words that are in your heart and in your brain are not always reflected on your tongue. And then we regret that. So my goal is every time I see this sitting on my kitchen counter, this sitting on my kitchen counter, it reminds me, take a breath, Mia. What do you want to be putting into their young minds? What do you want them to know of how you love them and how you care for them? So um, it's a little box of cards that are double-sided. They are blank intentionally because they can be whatever you want them to be. They can be whatever conversation you want to start with your kids. And my goal as somebody who has been a lifelong journal keeper and um, historian, family historian, I'm a genealogy nerd. I I've, I've kept a journal since I was 12 years old. Just having something solid to hold on to, knowing that this is gonna end up on my bookshelf and I can date it and I can say, oh, this was this year. This was my kids this year. This was Will this year. This was Drew this year. Um, and to have that to look back on and also to be able to give to them to look back on as they get older, because I know uh, the couple of notes that I do have from my parents, when I go through my little keepsake box that I have, it's just, I mean, it's so heartwarming to know that that well, is there. Yeah. And it's so nice. So, you know, when we talk about grief here on Grief Inspired, there's so many people that I talk to, we talk a lot about guilt and regret mm. because we wish we had said things that we didn't get to say, or we feel like we hadn't communicated with the people you know, that we love the most, right? And we know, and, and, and people question, like, do you think they really knew how much I love them? Um, and so it's something that, you know, we deal a lot with here and saying like, well, we, you know, it's, it's a problem. And so what I love about this and what I was immediately drawn to was like, this is something that the people that watch this channel can can it's something they can put into their lives now that we can look back and there's things that we can regret and we wish he, we had done um but but there's lots of people who have lost spouses who have lost parents um who have lost you know all kinds of people siblings you know friends it's it's you know grief is everywhere and so this is this is a tool now right that you can use with the people who are still in your life yeah, and I love that you said that because, you know, the, the thing about regret and, and 
you know, did they know? Did I do enough? Did I say enough? Did they feel it? Um, if you, I don't know, is this backwards view or is this the right way? I don't know if you can see the, the tagline is so nothing is left unspoken. Perfect. And that's my goal. This is where I get. <laughs> you get emotional. Very emotional because, yeah, I do. Well, um, and because it is so important that we know that the people we love feel and know that we love them. And I think everything's so fast paced now, you know, and everything, everyone's so busy just taking a moment. And again, having that visual reminder of just take a minute to connect in those small moments every day. It doesn't have to be about the big grandiose things. It's those day-to-day -day things, those day-to-day -day interactions that we take for granted and that we forget. So my yes. hope is that with something like this, it's gonna provide that lifelong reminder in those times, especially when things are hard, especially when, you know, when people are grieving, when they are in a place of loss. Um, yes, yes. I really do, I think it could be really valuable. And, you know, and I was so moved and touched by the launch that you oh. did on Facebook <laughs> and you were crying there too. Um, oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> which is so wonderful. But, but the day that you launched it, right? Was a very coincidentally really special day. So tell us about that day. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't believe in coincidences. I believe the universe had a hand in what happened there, but um, I have been working on this for about a year and for whatever reasons, it would get stalled. It would get put on hold. There would be production issues. There would be communication issues. It's just taking a really long time to come together. And all of a sudden last month, I got the email from um, the production office, the people that are, you know, that are putting this together saying it's ready to go. And, um, you know, our amazing friend Rita, who we know, who is a website genius, she was helping me put this online. And she messaged me the same day and said, your landing page is ready to go. So um, that was the day before the 10th anniversary of losing my mom. Oh. And this product, while inspired by my sons, is so closely knit to the loss that I feel even 10 years on of my mother. I'm sorry. I know that people watching this will understand. So I won't <laughs> exactly. we all get it. Like <laughs> tears are tears are not only optional, they're required. They're like, required. Inspired. 10 yes. years on, right? So I launched this on the 10th anniversary of losing my beloved mother to stage four lung cancer. Um, and I know that she had a hand in this. Mm. Um, what would it have meant to you to feel connected? Yeah, I mean, what have it? What would it have meant to you to to have some of these notes from her? Oh my goodness! Um, everything. It would have meant everything, and that's not lost on me as I move forward with this for my kids. I'm very mm -hmm. aware of that. I have a handful of things from her. Mm -hmm. um, but she was not as um, she was not as sentimental as I am when it comes to those kind of things. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I don't think it ever occurred to her that after she was gone, there might be a need or a want for something like that. She was very she was very non sentimental about things. Um, I did not get my sentimentality from her. But <laughs> I love that knowing my experience of having come through the loss of a parent who I was very, very close to. She was my dearest friend, my soulmate. If I can preempt that for my kids, for mm. my husband, for my siblings, whatever, whoever it might be, if I can give them the opportunity to have something from me down the road for my grandkids to be able to hold these little conversations with their parents, I just think it's a piece that we're missing. I think in this digital age, we have moved so far away from the written word, uh -huh. from writing love letters, from just writing any letters. Nobody gets actual mail anymore. So, you know, to have something solid that's written down, I think is, um, is, is just missing right now. It's something that we've forgotten about. And I really do think that moving forward, it's, it's like my legacy. It's something that I can do for my kids so that when they look back, they know that, yes, I was always right there. I'm still right there, mm -hmm. even though. And, and one yeah. of the other things that I was thinking about this that I like so much about this, and I want all of you watching this to, you know, to consider for yourself, 
Um, you know, this isn't about me trying to get you to buy a product, although I totally got this and I am so looking forward to using it. So it's pre-ordered, so I don't have it yet. I was hoping <laughs> to have one, um, but I know they're coming soon. But but what I like about it is there's so much that's that's out of control in the grief process. And there's so much that we have no control over. Like we can't control, you know, when our loved ones die, we can't control when accidents happen. We can't control that cancer comes into our lives. We're like we have so much that there isn't control over. But for me, you know, having something like this, this is a way you can have some, you can ex exert some control now, right? And I love how you're saying it. It's like you are making sure, right? That all the people who are around you know how you feel. And literally they have it in writing and hell, you could even put it on a t-shirt. Oh, it's coming. It's, it's coming, coming, Catherine. Right? Just wait. Like that's a whole process down the road. I have so many ideas of how this could be utilized. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and I think that's just that to me, that's inspiring, um, which is one of the other reasons why I wanted you to be here. And I think it's something that, you know, that anybody can use to really get like take back some of that control. And it's, you know, you can't look back on the past. You can't know, you can't always change you know, what happened with the people who, who you've already lost, but there's still, you know, and I, what I said is in another video was like one of the greatest lessons out of grief and losing someone is that it teaches you like, well, I'm not going to do that again. Right. So it's like, what can you learn? What do you wish that you had done? And then what can you put into action? This is something you can actually put into action right? And use with the people that you love and the people you care about the most. So that if something tragic were to happen tomorrow or a year from now or 10 years from now, you will have documentation um, yeah. that shows how you much- leave You leave them with no doubt. Yeah, mm -hmm. you leave them with no doubt. And I think what you said there about taking back control, I never thought about it in exactly those terms, but you mm -hmm. are 100% correct. 100%, mm -hmm. I think- there's a lot of strength and power to be gained mm -hmm. in having that control over, mm -hmm. over this particular outcome. Mm -hmm. And that's and what that you know. To, I was just gonna say that goes to, you know, my, my hope that people be intentional with the words mm -hmm. they choose. Mm -hmm. right? Yes. It's, that, it's, we can react or we can respond. Yes, and love I, I that, want love that. To encourage people to respond, to oh. think, to, really feel what's in here and put it out on paper because it's so much more powerful when it's written down it lasts forever yes yes oh, and what a gift it is you know for you and for I mean because again it's also a gift that you give yourself because if you write to them and you say okay here's the other side feel free to write back right then you're you're giving yourself a gift too because you're letting them share with you in their words what they want to share with you and i think it was a good point that you said not everybody can can express these things verbally um you know like you know you were talking about your mom not being sentimental right my my no like and i think that could be from the time like from the age yeah. where they were brought up as well and so i think it's you know this is a way you know people can put things in writing that they wouldn't necessarily verbalize or, or speak. And, you know, and, okay. And if you go to men, right. I mean, again, you know, spouses, brothers, you know, whatever. I mean, every year I get a card from my brother that says like, I love you, Kath. And it's like, it's incredible, right. To just it see, it, yeah. see it. And I hang on to those things or to have, you know, that kind of thing from my father, when he writes me, you know, occasionally I have a few little notes, like we were talking about before from him and it's so special. Um, yeah. but we don't always take the time to do it. And so I love, love everything about this. So how do we, so if people want this, how can they get it now? Where's what's the landing page that I should be sending them to? It is available now on presale at alwaysrighthere.com slash presale. And that's right as in the written way, right? Alwaysrighthere.com slash presale. Um, the turnaround time I'm being told is about another six weeks um, with, you know, the times that we are in, everything taking is taking longer to be made. Yes. So I'm hoping they'll be in sooner, but thank you for your patience with that. If you do decide that it's something that you'd like to try for yourself. Um, 
I'm very excited about it and I'm just so honored and thrilled that you asked me to be a part of this because I really do feel that if I had had something like this mm. yeah those um those early months and years there would have been a closeness that I was missing mm -hmm. um yeah I, I love that it is tied so much to the past whilst looking to the future you know exactly exactly and that's you know and that's what we have to do we learn from the past um and we learn how to move forward into the future and we build strength so that we can do it so that we can keep going and this is a way to help us keep going and a way to you know show all the people in our lives how much we really love them um, and I just, oh, I'm so grateful for you to have done this with me. Like I said, I can't wait for mine. Um, I will drop the link in the comments below so that everyone will be able to find that. If you didn't write it down, don't worry about that. But for all of you watching, I want you to, to think about, you know, who are the people in your life that you want to make sure that they know how you feel and buy one kit for each one of those persons. <laughs> right and you know use them for your kids use them for your spouse use them for your best friends right and and we even talked about like mailing the cards back and forth it doesn't even you yeah. don't even have to live with the people right no rules um, right there are no, no rules, rules. You, they are whatever you want them to be however you choose to use them here come my kids i managed to get through the whole thing <laughs> uh, I'm just doing that's amazing so good so with that we are going to end, but I am so excited and I am just looking forward to getting mine and we'll, we'll have you come back on another time and we'll, I want to hear all about how it's going. I would love that. Thank you so much. Thank you for letting me cry and purge some of these cathartic tears. Oh, on your Zoom. It's all good. It's all good. We're building strength here. <laughs> right. I'm here for it. hundred oh, percent. Okay. Bye for now. Bye. Thank you, Catherine.